Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to the channel, man. Much appreciated tuning in and today I'm going to give you guys a mid-season review of my Skeeter uh, ZXR uh, 20 bass boat and uh, sort of give you an honest uh, overview of what I think about the boat. Um, I've had the chance to fish four tournaments out of it now. I've had it since I think last October. I spent a lot of days in this boat uh, on the Fish the Moment instructional on the water lessons, practicing for tournaments and tournaments. So I got a really good feel for this boat. And I'm gonna share you guys my assessment of it. And first of all, a little bit of a, a deal if you, to refresh your memory. You know, I, everybody knows I've been with Ranger Boats for 35 years. Uh, you know, when Bass Pro bought the company out, they made some switches uh, to everything. And as a result, myself and a lot of the long-term ranger pros uh, left left the company after a long time and <clears throat> for me it put me in the position that um, i had to decide what i wanted to do next as far as with the boat and boat deals are not like what they used to be uh, a long time ago i mean there's a lot more anglers out there now there's a lot more competition for the the sponsorship spots within each company so the thing that i wanted to do is before i made any type of effort to have a partnership with the company i wanted to go around and sample and look and you know get as much information as i can about every boat on the market and and what and that's what i did i went out and i just studied them looked at them did everything about them and this was the one that i came up with the skeeter boat is the is the company that i came up with and what i want to do is i'm going to take you guys from head to toe on the boat and I'm going to show you the features of the boat and what my opinion is of, you know, and why I like them and maybe there may, maybe a couple of things that I would change if I had my choice. So anyway, I'm going to give you guys an honest up front review. So here we go. Okay, first off, let's talk about the motor. Uh, this is the Yamaha VMAX four stroke, 250 horsepower. Um, the thing about motors and boats, guys, I want to say right off the bat is that they're all good. It's like if they, if a motor or a boat out there today was not good it wasn't a good quality they couldn't survive in the marketplace so from that standpoint every boat motor company out there makes a strong motor um, i have ran over the course of my career i've ran mercury's mariners evan Reed's, yamaha's and my honest opinion is is a yamaha to me has been the most reliable motor out there that i've ever used i used one for two years back when i was with fuji film um, so I've got a little bit of familiar rarity with the Yamaha. Same with the, the new model, the 250 uh, VMAX. Super quiet, super fast, uh, excellent fuel mileage. The four stroke, you don't ever have to put gas in it. Um, it's just been bulletproof motor. I've had zero issues with this motor. Um, ever since I've had it, the only thing I've done is change the uh, lower unit or, uh, oil uh, according to the owner's manual. And other than that, I just turned the thing on and went super fast, super strong. Power poles. I get a lot of questions about these guys, these power poles. People ask me all the time as far as on a power pole, uh, what if, if they had a choice between power poles and uh, a spot lock, what would they get? Without a doubt, get the power poles. The power poles to me are such a versatile piece of equipment. Not only do I use these to lock them down uh, if I'm fishing shallow water, they're great for beaching your boat on the bank. They're great for lowering the things down if you're fishing around dock cables because, um, let me show you guys here a little bit of a thing here. When you, when you lower your power poles down um, in this position here, you can fish around boat docks and the power pole will keep the dock cables away from the motor which is a really nice feature so that's what i really like about that um, so that's the motor part now let's take a look at the battery system okay here's my battery setup guys um, i switched to the dakota lithiums this year this is the first time i've had lithium batteries and i'm telling you what guys if they are within your means i would highly suggest getting these things everybody knows out there that i'm not into spending lots of money i think that fish and everything is too high everything out there is too expensive but lithium batteries first of all batteries are so important because they have you know not only they power your trolling motor but they power your big motor so the power source is one area i think that you can spend a little bit of money in and the thing that i like about the lithiums are number one they weigh half as much as the lead acid batteries 
this gives you twice the fast, twice as quick of a hole shot. And then you got a 10 year warranty on these things. And on top of that, lithiums are different than lead acid and the fact that they don't go down during the daytime. When you fish with the lithium, I don't care if you're on high all day long with your trolling motor, at the end of the day, you still have the same amount of power. That's the big benefit of lithium right there. Now, when they go down, they go completely down. So you have to make sure you keep them charged. But if you're fishing in heavy current or hard wind, you have the same power source all day long. I've got three on my trolling motor. I've got two wired parallel on my uh, cranking battery. Um, and like I said, ten, with a 10 year warranty, if you have your boat for a long time, it can actually come out to be no more or even less money than lead, lead acid. So this is one area I would suggest you could splurge in. The back compartments of the, the, uh, the Skeeter here, just tons of room, absolute tons of room there to put everything in there. Plenty of room for props, batteries, that type of stuff. Okay, next let's go to the live well system. Here's the live wells and the Skeeters. Big live wells, they open to the side, which I really like. Hold a ton of water in there. I've had like 15 pound catfish in here and they fit in here. This, these live wells are huge. They keep the fish super good. They have no problems with them. Uh, just a super good setup there. I really like the live wells. Got a really nice cooler right here. Super, super deep cooler goes down there. It keeps everything cold. And um, one of the things that I really like about this boat, I'm gonna get out of the, the boat here, is the, uh, the seating system here. These seats, <coughs> excuse me, these seats are the most comfortable, best looking seats I've ever seen in a boat. I mean, look at those things. Is that not cool looking? I really like these handles here. They're, you know, just good to grab a hold on in rough, uh, boats rocking in rough water. Super comfortable in rough water, long runs or wide. Really like the way they're set up on that. And um, they're just, I really, really uh, enjoy these seats. The cockpit area on the Skeeter is really awesome. Super comfortable steering wheel there, solid. Really like the nice, simple toggle switch systems there. Got their throttle control. Um, got the Hummingbird Helix 12. This unit here comes a uh, factory from Skeeter. Comes with a great mount on it. Um, it's all you need, man. Hummingbird Helix 12. Talking about the units a little bit, guys. Everybody knows that I'm low-tech electronic-wise, um, so I don't get any type of a deal from an electronics company. But, you know, just my own personal opinion, if you're looking for units, and this is no advertising, because I have to buy these things just like you guys do. I've got a Hummingbird 12 Helix there, Hummingbird 9 Helix up front there. And in my opinion, these things are the most user-friendly units out there. 2D, uh, side imaging, down imaging, great mapping system. Um, they're really a good unit and they're really easy to use for people like myself that are not real tech savvy. I really like this step up right here. Um, usually set right here when I'm working on my tackle. This is a really nice feature. Um, this little step here makes it nice to get up there. Got some of my oddballs from Grand. Why didn't they bite this thing? This is everybody else in the freaking tournament at Grand ripped them on a spinner bait, and I couldn't get a bite down there on a spinner bait. I had to catch mine on a jig. Um, got more compartments here, nice little storage compartment there for odds and ends. Um, got both of these side ones, you got little compartments there, look like little day boxes. Um, this another little day box right there, you can put all your odds and ends in thing about the storage guys here on the Skeeters is this there's three things I love about this boat the fact that it's really good in rough water it's fast and the storage you got a ton of storage in this boat the front here these things are super deep they go down way back up in there you can put so much tackle on there I mean I can even put you can see the tackle that I've got in there you can even put more tackle than that in there it's just there's you, you can put enough tackle to go fishing for months in this thing so this store center storage is really really uh deep and wide one thing that i would change on this is i don't i'm not a really a big fan of opening from the side but i, I think i'm in fact i'm pretty sure that you can get an option for skeeter where you can make this storage just one piece right here and fold up so my next one i'm probably going to get that then you've got, you know, rod storage compartment here, another rod storage right there. 
There's a jig I caught them on yesterday, Grand Lake, and I got 15 pounds. So, okay, the front setup here, got the Hummingbird, Hummingbird 112 Helix, uh, excuse me, the Hummingbird 112 Ultrax Spot Lock, Hummingbird 9 Helix here. Again, this is this comes from Skeeter Factory, this mount here, so just solid as a rock, really love that. This is a cool feature I love about the ZXR20. It's got step up right here. You know, if you're launching in water that's too deep, you can get right on the step and just and just walk your way up the boat. Really a cool feature. Uh, solid trailer uh, locking system there. Winch is awesome. Uh, trailer, man, this is a bulletproof trailer here. This thing you can haul as fast as you want down the highway. There's no fish tailing. Solid as a rock. Those are factory rims that comes from Skeeter on there. So uh, it's just solid, solid rig. Okay, guys, that's the overview as far as, you know, going through, you know, every bit of the boat, what I like about it on there. It'll show you a little bit about it. Here's my impressions of the boat. Um, I've had a chance to fish in this boat in all different type of conditions. I've been in waves up to about four foot tall in the things. This boat handles great in super rough water. It turns on a dime. Um, the the hull configuration on here, this thing, this hull, the way that's set up right there, that absorbs a tremendous amount of impact right there. The way that that thing is, is set up like that. So um, it's the best rough riding boat that I've ever been in. I mean, rough water boat that I've ever been in. This is also the fastest boat I had. The Rangers that I had, I, I never had a Ranger that would run 70 miles an hour from the factory. And normally, you know, my props get chewed up fishing shallow water, so I lose my speed real quick into the season. This boat right here, this boat will run low to mid 70s right out of the factory full tournament load like that of course if you get your prop chewed up a little bit you're going to get a little bit off of it but right off the bat i'll just tell you this is the fastest smoothest riding boat i've ever been in and i love the way it handles in rough water it's super responsive like i said you can turn it on a dime drives like a little sports car i mean that's the best thing i can say about it with that but in addition to the ride and how fast the thing is um, i really like the storage layout on it like I said, I carry a lot of stuff with me. You can put you can put more tackle in this thing than three or four guys could use in a tournament. I mean, that's the, the one of the best things that I like about it. And um, but that's the main thing out there when you're talking about boats. What makes a good boat is you need storage. You need you need a safe ride. You need a smooth ride. You need a big gas capacity. You know, I got over 50 gallons of gas in this boat that takes me anywhere. And a lot, the rest of it is about the components. I mean, the components on this boat, you have all quality components. Um, it's price wise, like I said, it's, it's just as competitive or maybe less than some of the other boats out there money wise. So, you know, a little bit of a, of a plug here for Skeeter. I, I would highly recommend this guys. If you guys want to check these out, um, they just opened up a new boat dealership here in Springfield, Missouri called Boat Works. They carry, they carry a Skeeter, Camus, Bass Cat. Um, you can check out the Skeeter ZXR20 at Boatworks. And um, I think you guys will love it, man. I do. Like I said, I've had Rangers for 35 years. I've never been more happy with the boat that I got right here. This is, you know, my favorite boat that I've had. It's like driving a little sports car when you're out on the water. So check it out, man. I know you guys will be happy with it. And thanks for coming in and going over the tour.